Ahoy. Uh, my name is Jay Shell, uh, also known as Iuchi and AODL uh, when I do music. And this is my first unboxing video. Um, just kind of for the fun of it, uh, maybe sometimes looking at a some K-pop groups that uh, maybe to deserve another look or if people are interested in a new album of something that I find interesting, uh, maybe uh, you will find it interesting too. And today we are looking at uh, Nature's latest uh, mini album, Nature World Code M. Um, I only got into K-pop about a year ago, but I have a history dating back to the late 90s uh, with Shibuya Kai music out of Japan, with uh, bands like Pizzicato 5 and Buffalo Daughter, Cornelius, uh, to Japanese art rock in the 2000s. Uh, and a few years ago, found a Akina Nakamura and 80s J-pop and Tokyo City Pop, which I really fell in love with. And that seemed to kind of really help pave the way to uh, checking out BTS because a friend of mine was really into them and getting into uh, all of K-pop pretty quickly as a result. Uh, I also have the long history in various unusual music, undergrounds, noise music, uh, where there is very creative packaging, some lot of it handmade, but some of it uh, on some larger scales so I've always really enjoyed and have quite a few things that are books and photos and just kind of really rich albums that go beyond just the classic jewel box format that uh, a lot of us know in the West. And I was really blown away with uh, K-pop, especially with the packaging. So Nature was uh, one of the first girl groups I kind of heard after Blackpink when uh, their song Oopsie My Bad came out uh, late uh, 2019. And I really liked it at first. It was just kind of loud and bombastic and fun, but it also kind of wore on me after a while, and I couldn't tell like, if this was the, the bad side of K-pop, the kind of really produced, going after something that would just kind of sell easily internationally, or what. But I really liked their B-sides, so I always kind of liked uh, the group, and I saw Lou on an episode of Cell of TV hosting uh, Oh My Girl, uh, who has become one of my favorite groups, and uh, that kind of kept nature in mind. And their latest album uh, and latest lead track, Girls, uh, I thought was magnificent and is a really uh, good progression for the group. Uh, the sound that you could hear in some of their B-sides, taking that uh, further and turning that into the lead track. So. Uh, this just arrived this morning. This came out uh, about a month ago. It took me a couple of weeks to order it, but uh, yeah, I really liked the song. I liked what I saw of the packaging, so let's take a look as I've been talking a bit. So this is kind of a normal, a little bit bigger than a jewel pack, but what I've seen of the pictures, well, let's just open it up and see where this goes. I love these colors and these textures. I'm very much into botanical prints and uh, this packaging does do something really cool I've seen in the uh, descriptive pictures. Uh, you can check that out in a second. But this very, I mean, it does look like wallpaper, and we'll see why. It's very cottagey, which I love. Um, and I'm very into kind of 
pastel, I'm really into floral colors uh, these past few years. Sages, violets, lavenders, rose, uh, all of that. So already this is kind of a win in the style book. Let's see. We've got, I really like uh, this lineup. I know uh, I've been at some small changes over the past year. Uh, I don't remember if Sohi, uh, let me see here, was part of Oopsie My Dad, but she really stood out uh, in their K Contact uh, performance and uh, some of their other ones, and it's become kind of my new favorite. And there she is on the lead. First woman we see. Okay, so you got a photo card of the whole group, uh, which I like. You don't have to play favorites. I really like this whole group. I'm sad that uh, Sunshine was uh, unable to be in the promotions. Uh, they said uh, due to health reasons. I'm not sure what they were, but I hope she's okay. She, was, she really stood out during uh, an Oopsie My Bad and kind of uh, drew me in uh, initially when watching that video and Lou as the leader I really liked uh, seeing her uh, emceeing and I think he's a good leader for the group and we've got you know, a photo card for Shaded and is this who we're on? No. I love these colors Haru. Who's the lines? I know they've got a cutie line. Sabon. He's just absolutely beautiful. Oh, we've got more stuff in the middle. Let's see. Sunshine. I do have a love for uh, short hair, as it always kind of sent to me, symbolizes like mid-60s, uh, kind of modernism, girl pop, uh, 20s, flappers, 90s, right girl style movements, there was a lot of it back then. Uh, oh my girl's Benny seems like one of those that can be kind of timeless, you know, it can be 60s Argentina, Brazil doing music. Uh, yeah, Sunshine kind of uh, with her hair here kind of reminds me of some old pictures of Twiggy. There's Lou. I uh, always love good things. And that kind of has a, to me, also more of like a 60s Cool Britannia. Um, kind of look, and I'm not sure how many other uh, K-pop fans you'll find that kind of think of things in such terms, but uh, it's part of why I discovering this music has delighted me, and I really enjoy the styling, the photo books, uh, all of these extras because kind of always been into fashion, design, all of that, and this, for me, is just kind of the latest. Oh, we've got a stand-up card. Is this Lou? I think it's Lou. Uh, which will go into our little dream house here in a moment. This is a very nice the photo book. So it's kind of got a cottage core aesthetic, but it's kind of a little bit bohemian summer cottage, kind of a summer cabin lake house oh, effect. And it's kind of this, I mean, it's definitely very summery beachy, you know, it makes me think of uh, the mid-Atlantic, right? 
where I spent some summers in my 20s. Oh, these, these colors are gorgeous. The three songs, Girls, Dive, BBB. I haven't listened to BBB as much, but I really like both Girls and Dive. Dive has been a, kind of on a heavy playlist. Yeah, yeah this is a really, really uh, great release from them. And I hope we see more like that. My only disappointment with it is it's only uh, three songs. It's only about nine minutes long. But uh, G Idols, uh, I Trust, EP, we basically only got three new songs on that, plus Lion, which we already had, and an English version of one of the songs. So some of these are short, but with the frequency with which some of these groups do music and with the just quality of this packaging I and mean, this is very very much my style it's just kind of reminds me of a few different eras that yeah it's kind of a lot of nostalgia buttons for me uh, i really love this also just the photo book alone and the music i've really enjoyed uh, let's move her aside for a while So, what is neat about this artwork, or this packaging, is that it turns into a little house. Let's see if I can figure out quite how it's supposed to work. It's pretty simple. Oh, yeah. So we've got a little cottage here now. And it just folds together pretty easily with just some simple little uh, notches here on the walls. Uh, it doesn't lay down super great, so you've seen it's kind of from the top down. There's a stand-up doll we can set up and occupy this little house. Uh, the tea kettle, uh, which is perfect. And changing blinds, I guess. Um, yeah. I told my partner that uh, we've been spending too much money on tarot cards and uh, K-pop, for me especially, K-pop albums and tarot decks and fountain pens, but you know, if we end up destitute, we can just shrink ourselves really small and move into this little cottage. And this is Nature World Coda. Uh, I highly recommend checking out the, the track for girls. There are multiple versions of the video. Um, Including an uncensored version, there is a red dance choreography version where they're kind of in these flag scattered dresses. The cinematography through the whole thing, the lighting, the dance, uh, the outfits. It's all a really cool, rich, dark concept. And uh, with, again, a really good song behind it and a bit of a change from kind of the brashness of Oopsie My Dad. Uh, and I think is, as said earlier, a good direction for them. Uh, I think this is a good album overall to check out if you're looking for uh, something a little different and something really cute and fun to have on your shelf, uh, especially in summertime and when we're locked down and 
kind of missing our travel and trips, we can hang out in this little college with, cottage with nature. Uh, thanks for watching. There will be uh, some more coming up. Uh, I'm hoping to get Third Eyes uh, Triangle album out soon and uh, looking at that and looking at both packagings of Oh My Girls non-stop and uh, my signed G Idol I Trust CDs should be here soon and I'm very excited to finally look at those because I've been avoiding unboxing videos and anything to because I wanted to experience it myself but world situation being what it is those have taken a very long time to make their way from Korea to America, but uh, today, Nature. Kodam, Nature World Kodam, highly recommended. Uh, very beautiful, especially if you're kind of into the cottage core or for just this kind of dreamy summer nostalgia. It's just a beautiful uh, bit of artwork all in all. Thanks for watching. Uh, See you later.